Good afternoon, I'm Katie Collette with your Wavy TV 10 headlines. Norfolk police arrested a suspect in connection to a suspicious fire in West Ghent. 42-year-old Ryan Elza is charged with one count of arson to an occupied dwelling. Elza was in court this morning. We learned through court documents he's been an employee of Norfolk Public Schools for four years. Neighbors who know him tell us he's an eighth grade English teacher. Elza lives in an apartment building across the street from the McGee residence. In court, Elza requested a public defender. He's currently being held without bond. The Norfolk Fire Marshal's office and Norfolk Police worked together on this investigation. Officials, though, say the work is not done yet. They're still working to figure out the cause of the other four fires on that same block. Because these fires had similarities and were close together, residents believe they're all connected. Elza has a preliminary hearing set for September 30th. Suffolk police are investigating a shooting that sent a 22-year-old man and a child to the hospital this morning. It happened just before 2 o'clock in the 300 block of North Broad Street. Officials say when they arrived, they found the victims suffering from gunshot wounds. Police say both are expected to be okay. We're working to learn more about a suspect. And if you have any information, call the crime line. Accomack County deputies are investigating a homicide that left two people dead. It happened back on Saturday on Deep Creek Road. Officials say when they arrived on the scene, they found 53-year-old Dean Reed and 75-year-old Brenda Barnes dead at the scene. 34-year-old Frederick Barnes was served warrants for two counts of second-degree murder. Barnes is being held at Accomack County Jail without bond. Officials say anyone with information about this homicide should call the crime line. Hampton police are investigating a shooting that happened just before 1 o'clock this morning in the 1300 block of Todd's Lane. Officials say a 19-year-old man was shot in a 7-Eleven parking lot. He was transported to the hospital where he is expected to survive. We're still working to learn more about a suspect. You can find all of your headlines throughout the day on wavy.com. Have a great day.